Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to the channel, or if you are new here, welcome to the channel. My name is SJ, and I'm an adult doll collector who just wants to talk about dolls, and this channel is made for adult doll and toy collectors. With all that out of the way, we're going to be taking a look at the Rainbow High slash Shadow High Special Edition Sunny Madison and Luna Madison doll set. So I believe this is the third set of twins in like the Rainbow High universe. We've got Holly and Laurel and then Naomi and Veronica. And now we have Sunny and Luna. And I love them. Love the outfits. They are beautiful. So I did get this from Target. It was $47.99, but I had a gift card. So... That means that this didn't cost me anything. It was free because I didn't have to use my red card and I didn't have to take and use any money out of my account. So girl math, it was free, I guess. I don't know. That's how I look at it though. I have a gift card that's like free money. I'm not like really spending my own money. So, but here they are in the box. Up at the top says, let your true colors shine. And then we have Luna's focus right here. She's a film focus. And Sunny's focus right here is computer animation. And the back of the box features the both of them. And it says, the Madison twins may, may go to different schools. Rainbow High, Shadow High but they have always shared a love of the arts. Beautiful, beautiful. But we are gonna be unboxing them. I know a lot of people are super upset that I unbox my dolls, but I love to unbox them. I love to hold them in my hand, pose them, take photographs of them. So that is why I unbox them. <clears throat> but if you are interested in them, there is our barcode. I believe they're still $47.99 at Target. Um, in store, they're $59.99, but Target will price match with their online prices. You just kind of have to pull up um, the item in the app and make sure that your app is set to the store that you are in, and they will happily price match with you. My Walmart has these priced for $70 and will not price match. So <laughs> if your Walmart's like mine, go to Target, but let's get these guys unboxed. All right, both dolls are out of the box, but real quickly, we will show the accessories that they came with. So each came with a comb. So yellow is Sunny's and the darker gray color is Luna's. And then they each have a stand. And here is Luna's bag. Um, it is silver. I really love this because it's like a trunk type of bag. It's all over silver. We have the shadow high, like SH for shadow high, crescent moons all over it. And the strap is fabric and it says shadow and it does open. So really, really cute. Love it. But let's go ahead and take a closer look at the dolls, starting with Luna, because again, I might be in the minority, but I love Luna. Loved her when she came out. Love her now. And I think it's the, the just the gray skin color and the purple eyes. I love it. So she has two little like braided top knots on top of her head. She has the silver baby hairs. Oh, Dio. Yeah, anyways, that was my cat, Dio. Um, yeah, but she has silver baby hairs. Her hair is the same color as it was before, but this is how it looks out of the box. So you will kind of have to fix it up and everything to make it look decent. Makeup is beautiful. We have the top lid lined in this metallic silver color, winged out with black, dark lipstick. Her earrings are absolutely gorgeous. They're like a silver pearlescent type of gem uh, outlined in silver and then we have a triangle hanging down with an s for shadow and this side it is the same thing except there is a silver triangle hanging from her ear with an h for high so shadow high and 
Now I believe she was wearing like some type of bodysuit in the TikTok video that we saw these two dolls in. So it is a little sad that we did kind of like lose the bodysuit, but she is wearing a black short sleeve shirt and it is a separate piece from this silver type of corset she has going on that's very reminiscent of the um, silver outfit her core doll was wearing. So I kind of like that they kind of pulled that little aesthetic in with her. And then she has this belt going around. It has all these little rings hanging from it. They feel like metal, but I kind of feel like they're like just like plastic. The belt is pleather. We have this little buckle on there and then her skirt. I love her skirt because in certain light, is there a thread hanging from it? Yeah. In certain light, it looks purple. And then in other light, it looks grayscale. So I really like how it kind of can like mess with you a little bit. Like what color is that? Is it just like a faded dark purple? Is that gray? Like what is it? But it's super cute. We have silver thread going throughout it and it does have a liner underneath like a little black liner and all pieces are held in the back by velcro and i believe the belt is attached to the skirt yes it is yeah attached to the skirt and now in losing i think like it was either a bodysuit or tights that she had and we lost that but i think you know some knee-high black socks or something would have looked great with this doll because she just looks so plain without them but she has on a pair of like chunky platform type boots they're black molded on laces i believe yeah are they molded on are they like Yes, they're molded on. It's just, you can like feel them really well. They almost feel like real laces. And then the platform portion of the shoe is silver. And that is what the bottom looks like. And she does have the long silver nails. And as far as articulation goes, she has all of the articulation, including wrist articulation, that all of the Rainbow High dolls have had. Moving on to Sunny. She is absolutely adorable. Um, Sunny wasn't always my favorite character, but when I learned that she had a twin and the twin's name was Luna and then my core series doll, you know, the Sunny doll, the back of her jacket is a sun and the moon. I was like, oh my God, the sun and the moon, they're twins, Sunny, Luna, moon, sun. I love it. And then that's how... Sunny ended up becoming one of my favorite characters. But here she is. Now her hair is in a very intricate style that I will not be touching. I don't care how crunchy this is because this is be crunchy. But I will not be touching this hair because there is no way I could ever replicate this. No way whatsoever. So in her hair, she has two little, uh, three little clips, one in pink, one in purple, and then like a little pearlescent type of looking one. And then on this side, we have a moon and a sun hair clip. I love it. I love it. She does have the sculpted baby hairs and her makeup is absolutely gorgeous. It is a dark brown and then like it's kind of smoked out and then we have a glitter gold glitter with yellow it's really really gorgeous beautiful green eyes beautiful pink lips and her earrings it's a star it's like the outline of a star with a shooting star in them cute cute cute, cute. here is her little purse a little teddy bear and you can um remove it it's it's tagged on her, but this is Velcroed right here, so you can slip it off if you want to. But let's take a look at her little yellow denim jacket. So it is tagged to the shirt that she has. Should probably cut those tags so we can take a closer look at that. So, 
yellow denim jacket. We've got like little ruffle type detail right here by the pockets, which are faux pockets, they're not real pockets. But the back of the jacket is her. It's like her little like character. We have a rainbow, stars, a moon, a sun. That is so cute in her little teddy bear right there. Super cute. And I just noticed she has a little pocket on her sleeve right here. Is that an actual pocket? Oh my God, it is. She has an actual pocket right there on her sleeve. Cute. Underneath this yellow denim jacket, she is wearing like a long sleeve shirt. Right? No. It's a short sleeve shirt. <sighs> yeah. All these layers like this confuse me. But it is a short sleeve shirt. On the front, we have rainbow and then this little patch it's like an embroidered patch that is on there looks like it is on there with a bunch of safety pins it's a cat or some kind of animal with like a little like unicorn little outfit on it super cute and then we have her skirt her skirt which reminds me a lot of her junior high dolls jacket it was like almost like that raincoat type of material and it had like all the little like um, toys in the back of it. This one is almost like that same material and it's white denim underneath it. And we have all these like little different emblems, patches, stickers all over it. Band-Aids, stars, bows, candy, hearts, bunnies, strawberry, kitty, adorable. And it does go all the way to the back as well. And all pieces are held, except for the jacket, are held in the back by Velcro. She has long yellow nails to match Luna's. And these. These little, I don't know what they're called. Leg warmers, something, I don't know. But I love them. I love them. They're knit. They're actual, like, knit sock feeling material. They are topped in rainbow colors. Beautiful. And then her platform Crocs, her heeled Crocs, whatever you want to call them, super cute love them they're those are very much in style like i see a lot of hate for this but these are very much in style and there's little charms on them so the moon obviously represents luna and the sun obviously represents sunny super cute yeah love them so overall i absolutely love them i always think rainbow high slash shadow high or just mga in general actually does a very great job at when they make the twins like naomi and veronica i mean those are like top tier top tier dolls holly and laurel were a game changer because they gave us new face molds naomi and veronica i mean these are close like first place but it's always going to be naomi and veronica but these two are absolutely gorgeous. They gave us new fashions, um, new <laughs> healed Crocs. They gave us healed Crocs. But loved that these two came in a two pack because they are twins. So love that. But let me know what you guys think about the Sunny and Luna Madison twin pack. I had to think for a minute what this was called, a little twin pack of them. And what do you think about the future of Rainbow High? Because I don't want to see this brand die because this is what got me back into collecting. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. All that good stuff. And I hope to see you in the next video. Love you. Bye.